Valentine's Day just came and went by. I was speaking to one of my bros, Ami. He's from India. And my man's girlfriend broke up with him a day before. I know as a friend I should be supportive, but I found it very, very fine. Because this brother over here, fam. This brother over here. A month before, the brother was singing some Bollywood song. Tum pase aye, kumuskurahe, tu sena janekia, sapone de kaye, apto meradil. Nagina sota he, kya keru aye, kuchi kuchi hota he. Today, bye, kuch nahi hota hai, yar. His heart is broken, my man is in his feelings, fam. He's in his feelings, and I find it hilarious. Cause he chats a lot of rubbish, bro. You should see this guy. That nonsense on a daily basis, fam. Shadi did him a 180. I asked him, bro, so, like, what happened? He said, Shadi told him, Teri meri meri. Prem kahani nahi dole vuzo me. Man, I can't speak their language, but basically, he's telling you, bro, I'm at it's not gonna work, so just let's cut it right now. He wouldn't have mind if this breakup would have happened, let's say, I don't know, last year, November or something. Man would have been fine, man would have recovered by now. But, bro, a day before Valentine's, bro, he's out just still on his way. <laughs> He's still singing the songs, bro. I know as a friend, it doesn't look good. I, I should be supportive. But my man chats a lot of nonsense. Nothing can happen to him. He's made out of steel and now he's hurting. He'll be fine. I'll give him seven days. Go to the gym with him. Allow him to lift some good weights. He'll come back in form, right? So I mean, stop listening to them songs. I'll give you a different playlist, right? Last time when I went, he was listening to this song right here. <laughs> I mean, stop singing this song. You need to be singing some different tunes. I'll sort you out. I'll give you some good music. I think my man will definitely attend the wedding of Shorty. I mean, I'll come with you. We'll go to the wedding and I know you'll cry that day. I'm just taking the pace. And I'm loving it. You'll be out here singing. A cha chal tahu, dua hu me ya drakna. Meri zetir ka subase suwa drakna. Dil me sangu ko bi mera chakam drakna. Dil me tarifu bi. I don't know how they sing the song. Andarat mere yar, o mere piyar tu te. Ajaraz tarat tere na mukia. Chanda mere ya, mere ya. Chanda mere ya, mere ya. You'll be out here looking like Rambir Kapoor. Ah, bro, I'll be here for you. So I was going through a forum, Physician Associates, and I think this was in the USA, and some of them were complaining about their job market being saturated. Now, looking in the UK, I don't think we particularly have this problem. Perhaps it might be the case if you are in a bigger city, I don't know, Manchester, London, where everybody wants to be. But around the block, it's not really a problem. We all, as Physician Associates students, we go and spend these two years for one single reason. We want to go in, come out, as qualified physician associates and hopefully find a job. Get away from broke nation and start making some dollar dollar. Had it not been the case, we could have spent our two years doing something more fruitful instead of acquiring this debt burden we currently shoulder. You see, unlike our brothers from another mother, we don't have like a foundation program we can apply to and then get allocated a post for us to begin our journey as physician associates. This is a positive thing because we don't have to go through the same emotional turmoil. Have I got a place? Where was I placed? How far is it from home? Where we work is entirely dependent on us. If you want to work in the same place you attend the university, you can definitely apply for a job there. In your home Town. Wherever you want, you can apply for a job anywhere. And normally, there are positive and negatives, but this one I can't really pinpoint any negative with it. If you don't look for a job, your folks will start buying peanut butter without jelly, Kool Aid without sugar, and they'll start leaving army reserve brochures on your bed. They are trying to tell you something. They are tired of your eyes in the house. Go get a job. Now, jokes aside, you will feel away. You've put in some effort. You want to harvest the fruits of your labor. And it's not particularly difficult to find a job as a physician associate. I do remember when I completed my pain exams, the result for the pain exams came on Monday. On Tuesday, I was already working. That was how quick I got a job. There are many places you can find a job as a physician associate. Some are very obvious, others not so much. I think the first one is Indeed. I came across Indeed back in the day when I was applying for jobs as a biomedical scientist. And every time I put biomedical scientists in there, I'll see the, the role 
physician associate. And that's how I was ironically introduced to the existence of the physician associate program. What really pulled me was the salary at that point. Because I think the starting salary for biomedical scientists back in the day, I think it was 28 or 24,000 something, very, very small. And I was seeing 40, 35, I was like, oh, this is big boy money. Let me go see how these men are making it. I clicked on it and I back engineered it and hey, here we are today. And the same thing applies for the NHS job website, which is like a repository of all healthcare jobs within the UK. There are tons, literally tons of physician associate posts currently going about. Be it part-time, full-time, for experienced people, for newly qualified, go to the NHS website, you will find a job. And the other one is track jobs. You do find jobs there. The jobs I find over there are not as much as the ones I find on either Indeed or on the NHS website. It's not saturated. There are all kinds of jobs waiting for us to do. And the not so obvious places are places like Twitter. I do sometimes see people advertising physician associate jobs on Twitter. I think there was currently one, it was, it was a post mode. It was somewhere near a beach coast. I've seen some in orthopedics, I've seen some in mental health, primary care, secondary care, wherever you want it. One thing you must consider when looking for a job is, I think initially, try to go for a place where you are just in one location. Not one where you Monday you are here, Tuesday you are here, and Thursday you are here. It will affect your continuity. It will mess with your head. You need to find sometimes to ground yourself. If you are more experienced and you decide to miss much and do whatever type of mosaic lifestyle you want, big ups to you. I know some people that when they started, they were doing both primary care and secondary care. From what I've seen, though they enjoyed it, they do say it is a bit stressful. I've not done that personally myself, so I don't have any first-hand information, but from what I've heard, it can be a bit stressful. This was a quick run. I just mainly wanted to take the piss out of Ami. I love you, dog, but you know you deserve this one. It's your boy, your tea and I'm out. Salute.